Hi, Arden. Uh, Levi Damien from USA Today. I mean, obviously, this is your third training camp with the Raiders. Um, I, the first couple training camps, you looked really good in camp from, from um, media's perspective, at least mine. Um, but Mike Mayock said that this offseason was different for you. Um, how, how was this offseason different for you, would you say? A lot of self-reflecting um, this offseason, trying to get mentally right, um, especially after coming off of this uh, season in the injury uh, last year and had a pretty good solid two games before I uh, got hurt. Um, and it was just mostly mentally getting myself prepared for life and football itself. Go ahead, Deshaun. Hey, Arms. Deshaun Reed from The Athletic. Uh, can you hear me? I didn't know. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, yeah, I know earlier um, this summer, you know, we talked about the work that you were doing in Atlanta physically to prepare for this season, kind of getting back to your roots and what you did in high school. Have you felt a difference physically throughout camp so far? Oh, yeah, definitely. For sure, for sure. Uh, I feel a lot stronger. Uh, weight where it need where it need to be right now. Um, and it's just been different, different all throughout. Just the speed of the game has slowed down. Um, I'm, I'm, I know the defense, so I can play fast and just go. Hey, Arden, how you doing? Sam Gordon here with Las Vegas Review Journal. Obviously, a lot going on in the world right now, um, especially in Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, after the death of, or not the death, the shooting of Jacob Blake uh, by a white police police officer. And I was just curious if you had any thoughts or reaction to, to that situation. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know about the situation. I just got informed about it today. Um, but like any other situations, um, especially with Coach Gruden, we're gonna sit down and have a discussion about it um, and see what us as an organization can do to better the world. And that's it. ESPN. How would you describe working with Coach Rod Marinelli? Oh man. Uh, how can I describe it? Um, I can't put it in words. Um, he just like, he just like um, the grandfather that you always want, who will give you whatever you want, but asks a lot from you. Um, he asks a lot from us. He he know what he's talking about. He he done coach a lot of Hall of Fame guys, a lot of guys that's soon to be in the Hall of Fame, and his track record speaks for itself. And I feel like the whole D line is bought in. Um, and you really don't have no choice but to buy in with a guy like Coach Ryan Marinelli because you know you're going to get better and you know you're going to get pushed. Hey, Arden, it's uh, Chris Matthews with CBS here in Las Vegas. A couple of weeks ago, uh, Derek Carr mentioned just how explosive the offense could be. When he look, when he goes up to the line, he sees the line, looks to his left, looks to his right, looks behind him, all this talent. What do you kind of see in the defense uh, in, in a similar fashion when you – that line and you look left, right behind you, the middle linebackers. What do you see with that defense? We got talent everywhere. Uh, with the first team, second team, there's just talent everywhere. It's competition in every room. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think that any spot is really, really. Um, that somebody got the spot for show sure right now. Um, it's still work to be done, and it's just competition everywhere. And that's what I love about it. We all want each other to be better and know and those type of things. I don't know how to say something general. Um, he seemed to himself reflecting. I guess, uh, how would you analyze how the last couple years have gone and how have you felt about you know where you kind of are in your career right now? Repeat that again, I hit. He broke up. So you, so you said you had done some, you had done some self reflecting uh, in the off season. So how would you kind of assess how things have gone you and, and where you are in your career right now? The last part, repeat that, the last little part. <laughs> Just where you are in your career, and then just analyzing uh, where you are at this point in, in this stage in your career. Oh, oh, uh, how uh, where I'm at right now and where I was last year. Uh, I'm in a good place mentally. Uh, I don't take a lot of stuff too hard. I don't take a lot of stuff personal because a lot of stuff in life period isn't personal. Um, you gotta learn to roll with it and keep it moving. Uh, get get your emotions pretty much out of. Uh, a lot of these type things get your ego out. Um, I learned to shut my ego up, ego up, um, and yeah. Hey, Arvin, well, this is Chris once again. Real quick question, kind of aside from football. Now that you've been in Las Vegas for a month, month and a half or so, what's cool about it? What's not cool about Las Vegas? Well, what's not cool is the heat. 
that's what's not cool. Uh, but other than that, Vegas is a pretty good city. Uh, I didn't realize that. I mean, you got you you got you can raise a family here and things that sort. Um, once you get off the strip, it's just really normal and really just comp. Um, but once you get on the strip, that's when you know everything happens and all the hoorahs and things of that sort. All right, thanks everyone. Appreciate it. Thank y'all.